Hey there! So, to work on this course, the only thing you're going to need is a computer with Illustrator CC and Photoshop, although the latter is optional. Remember that we're going to be working on a tattoo design, as if it were for a specific client. We're not going to be needling anybody, so we don't need synthetic skins or machines or anything like this. The first thing we need to know is what kinds of tattoos there are, to see which ones we like the most and which ones we feel the most comfortable working with. There are lots of styles, and they vary a lot, but I'm going to be showing you some of the most well-known ones from which we can derive different styles. I want you to know that there isn't any classification we all agree on. This isn't math. So, what I'm going to show you um, are tattoo designs classified by myself. We know that tattoos were a thing in ancient Egypt, as there have been mummies of priestesses with tattoos. Even so, tattoos didn't really appear in the West for a while. It was in 1969 when Captain Cook described the tattooing process of Polynesia. This technique became popular with the sailors that traveled with him. We have to remember that being a sailor in those times wasn't something seen as a good life. Many of them were poor or were trying to hide from the law on their voyage. For this reason, tattoos became to have that same fame as the sailors. And until very recently, they still had that. The old school tattoo style became popular in the beginning of the 20th century. As it was a wartime, the themes would often be patriotic, without leaving out the sailor origins. The main characteristics of the old school tattoo is the use of straight, thick lines and basic colors. Blacks, whites, blue and red, with simple themes. Think that tattoos had to be done quick so that another client could come in. They also had to be able to withstand sunlight and hard work. With time, the additional tattoos went on to suffer modifications with different fashions. We start seeing different line widths, more details, more shadows, where before there weren't much less, and tattoos just become less simple. The themes are similar, although they are more diverse. Here you can see a neo-traditional design. Realism is easier to describe. There are tattoos that are similar to reality, independently of whether what they're representing is real or not. This style's main characteristic is that there are hardly any lines. This is because almost all of the work depends on shadows. They can be done in black or in color. Within this style, we can find the watercolor tattoo. That's very popular. I will put it in the same category because, as I said, they hardly use lines. Everything is based on color gradients. Realism, from my point of view, has the inconvenience that as we use lines that are so fine and with so much detail, we lose the tattoo faster than with the traditional ones. Here we can see an example of a realistic tattoo. The traditional Japanese tattoo, also known as Tabori, deserves its own mention, as it's done by hand without a tattoo gun. These are normally uh, tattoos that cover the back, chest, glutes, or legs. In themes, we can see lotus flowers, dragons, and other popular figures in the Nippon culture. The illustration style covers the drawing style used to illustrate books back in the day. The gradients and the lines are black and very fine. This is because to print the books, we used the engraving print method. Illustrations of Alice in Wonderland are a very good example. Dot work, as its name tells us, is a tattoo style that uses dots to create shadows. It's very similar to the illustration tattoos, but here's an example. Lastly, I'm going to talk about other kinds of tattoos, like tribal ones, Celtic ones, calligraphy ones, etc. I don't want to talk too much about these styles because I would never, ever end. I've explained the most important ones for me, uh, if we're going to be working on tattoo designs. Let's get started on our tattoo. Out of all the styles that I've mentioned, we're going to be working on one that is a main pillar in the tattooed world, the old school tattoo. I want to use this one because it has very clear rules that I think we have to have very consolidated to be able to work with the other styles. I also feel really comfortable working with the traditional style and with the Japanese traditional style. They are my favorite styles. 
You can use whatever style you want, of course, but I'm going to recommend the old school one because you'll be able to get a really good result and have some fun, even if it's your first time. Before we get into this, we have to think about where the tattoo is going to be going, how big it's going to be, and where we want to do it. Like when we draw on a canvas, the service marks the design. It's not the same to get a tattoo on your wrist than to get one on your elbow, for example. We have to keep in mind uh, the area size, the area shape, and the, the color of the area. The size and the shape are almost linked. If we're asked for a design that's going to cover the whole forearm, we have to keep in mind that it's going to be a long and thin area. If we're asked for a tattoo on an elbow, we have to choose a circular design. Skin color is also interesting. Very, very pale people are the dream clients for the tattoo artists, as the colors are going to stand out more. As I said, the sun is going to play a major role. If the area receives a ton of sun, that tattoo will lose definition and saturation as time goes on. For the project in this course, I'm going to propose an easy area. The top half of the back of a girl. This part, to be concrete. Here you can design any kind of flash, and it's going to fit. For this project, I thought we could draw a girl's profile. Like this one, for example. A real artist of this kind of design was Captain Coleman. This guy right here. He would make designs that, even today, are still very popular. Like this girl right here. Or this design of a profile. This one is going to be the one we're going to be looking at for this course. I'll change the hair, maybe on the flowers, and some details like that. But it's going to be a girl's profile with flowers in her hair. Yeah. If you want this book, that's really interesting. It's the one here. It's this one right here. Uh, this is the cover. If you want it, well, you can find it on the internet, on Amazon, or whatever. So I'll see you later.